This is such a good Christmas CD. We rented it from the library. And it has lots of really good songs. It's like called Acoustic Christmas. Yeah, Acoustic Christmas. And it has just like really soulful, bluesy, kind of some folksy songs in there. I like it. That's not why I have you here though. This song's called um, It Really Is a Wonderful Life. It really is a wonderful life, isn't it? Okay, anyways, that's not why I have you here. Why I have you here is that um, I want to do a little thrifting video with you guys. This video has gone a little awry, okay? So when we first started, I talked to you guys about what we're gonna do. We go to Starbucks, and then the plan was to go into the thrift store. I was gonna walk you through my favorite thrift store tips, things that I've been using for a mini moon, because I've been thrifting since I was a little tiny, tiny tot. And things that help me when I'm at a thrift store find good stuff. But you know what? It wasn't very easy because there were a lot of people in there. I have my two sons with me. Done. Okay, here. Oh. I have those sweet little nuggets with me and there's just a lot going on so okay like this see there's always interruptions give it to mama okay like I was saying there are always interruptions so we're gonna switch things up a little bit I'm gonna take you thrifting still but you can just go with me around the store I'll show you some things I'm looking at as I'm going thrifting and then we'll go back to my house and then I will do a haul with you so right now let's go thrifting together oh wait we must have coffee first let's get some coffee first <laughs> is that the funniest okay now let's go thrifting together Doesn't it look like something on a pottery barn? I love this. Weston, what do you think this thing is? I don't know either. Do you want to put your finger inside that? <laughs> do you think it would feel good? thrifting with me and now are you ready to see what I found all right now just a little heads up we're sitting outside so you will hear cars going by my dog's outside with me right now so you might see him running in the background but hopefully it's not too distracting to you so let's go ahead and jump into what I found in the store we'll start with the books first I talk about this all the time I love going to the the kids book section and looking around as you saw I had my two boys with me so I didn't really get to like dig in like I would like to but I did find a couple of good books this one I think the illustrations on it are so pretty isn't that beautiful and it just talks all about the world and living together and all that kind of stuff like different cultures and things like that this one I picked up I showed you this one in the little video it's I got this for my son's room so my youngest Carson his room is done in like a woodland not not really woodland it's more like campy woodsy cabiny kind of a feel if you're new to our channel you will soon learn that me and my husband love to do cabin trips throughout the year we're obsessed with the mountains and so Carson's room is like kind of a little bit of that like thrown into it so I thought this would be really cute just to kind of set out on a table and put something on top of it I just like the cover and of course the pages are fun and like chunky on the side as all old books are which is the cool thing about finding old books I don't know if it's focusing on it or not but there's that so I think they were having a set on kids books today well the paperback ones are, are always 50 cents but the the hardback ones are usually 75 cents or a dollar but I got both of them for 49 cents all right I don't know if I want to go through all of these with you because some of you might not care about this kind of stuff <laughs> uh, 
Another thing that you might not know about me is that we have a record player and I love to have that playing all the time. We don't watch a ton of TV, we don't have cable, we have Hulu, we have like a basic channels, and we have Netflix. So the only time we really have the TV on is if the boys are watching it during, sometimes during lunch I'll let them watch or... Weston gets to have like tablet time before bed. We just don't watch a ton of TV and I really like it like that. So we have a record player downstairs. We play that a lot. Um, I play stuff for the boys and so I love, like when I go through the book section, I love that. But I love hunting through the vinyls. And lately, I mentioned this in my last haul, I got so, I've been getting so lucky with vinyls. You know what? I don't think I, I think I put it on Insta stories. I don't think I did a haul on here about, about it. Yeah, I've been playing some really great vinyls lately and I always look like it's just kind of fine. It's part of the journey, like going in and looking through and seeing what you see. I may find a vinyl every now and then that I want, but lately every time I go in, I find at least five or this many. <laughs> so like I said, I'm not gonna show you all of them, but I'll kind of pick some that I'm really excited about. We already own this one. I bought it off eBay. I had to like auction for it. Me and this other person were like head, head to head over who was gonna win and I won it. And I got it because um, my son loves the Jingle Bell song on it. I don't know how he how he heard it before we bought the vinyl, but he always talked about it. I think in the car it would come on and he would love it. So I bought that for him and of course we love Bing. So we this is one of our favorite Christmas vinyls that we play. And my friend, Jamie, if you're watching, she has a record player as well. She loves stuff like this too. And when I saw this, I had to snatch it for her. So I'm gonna take this over to her and just do a little like um, doorstep surprise for her and her girls. Maybe I'll do that today. Another Christmas one. Don't you love this print? It's all like vintagey and fun. I found some really good um, like Broadway stuff. So this is Hello Dolly. This is the best of Broadway. So this is a bunch of different stuff. It has My Fair Lady, Sound of Music, um, Bells Are Ringing, Bye Bye Birdie, just all kinds of different ones. So that'll be fun. Guess what else I got? Another one. I mean, y'all, this is the best. If you have a record player, you have to have this vinyl. Obviously, you could buy the album or whatever, the CD or whatever you want to do, um, download it. But this, oh, I love this. So I'm gonna, I think I might do a giveaway with this one. I'm not really sure yet, so stay tuned. Okay, this was one when I was looking. I have a list, okay? So I have a list of home things I would love to find in a thrift store, of like uh, clothing pieces I'm always looking for. I have a vinyl list, and it's just like a list of if I found it, that would be great kind of a thing, you know? These are on that list. I actually saw them last year at a flea market. They wanted $25 per album for them. Uh, no. So when I saw these, I had a jaw open like, <gasps> kind of moment. <sighs> Look, it's the chipmunks. I can't even, I can't even believe it. I'm so excited. So these were huge when I was a kid. This was a huge part of my childhood. I remember listening to their Christmas album over and over. I had a little tape recorder in my room. I would just listen to the tape over it, rewind it, listen to it again. I loved the Chipmunks, the show. I loved it all. So I'm excited for the boys to get to listen to this one. Now, one of my tips I always share, uh, or what, not always share, but one of my tips I, I think I've told you before in other vinyl hauls is you always want to check inside. So I did that, and one of these, this is the right album that goes with this cover, but this one is not. This one is something different. So that's okay. It's still a Chipmunks album and it's still songs I think my kids will have fun with. It's not Christmas Chipmunks, but that's okay. So I'm still excited. And this one has like, it has all the good stuff on it. Here comes Santa Claus up on the rooftops, the Bills, Red Oak, the Red Nose Reindeer. I mean, come on, you know? This one I think is the one that has um, All I Want for Christmas is my two front teeth. That's like my ultimate favorite find, but that's okay that it's on there. I'm so excited about that. And let's see if there's any other ones that you guys might care about. I don't know. I mean, it's, they're so random. There's just a bunch of old records, but this one kind of cracked me up. I think I showed this one to you on the on the um, the video where I'm in the thrift store. Look at this cleavage, and then look at the back. Like you can see, it's always funny to see the artwork that they put on these old records. I don't know. I like it. It's kind of cool. One time I saw this one of this lady, she was in a bath, and um, it's like here down, and she had two flowers on her chest area. It's like all bubbles, everything's covered here, but this part's up, and then there's just two little flowers. I don't know, okay, whatever. All right, on to the next thing. So this is something else I got for Carsey's room. I think this is really versatile, so if I decide not to put it in there, I can think of something else I can do with it, but I'm pretty sure that's where I'm gonna put it. Like I said, he has like a little cabin wood 
type thing going on in his room so I thought these would be cute to hang just as they are one on top of the other on the wall and I don't know maybe someday I could put like a little fishing pole coming out of it or something like that I think that would be really cute he has a little gallery wall in there and on the gallery wall I like to kind of mix up textures and sizes and not just pictures but like other things as well to keep it interesting so I think I'm gonna do that now this is one that I might end up using for my um, what is, oh my gosh, I'm like so so bad with all the YouTube lingo stuff because I don't do it very often. It's the Hil Hillary does these like seasonal from my simple home, my so-called home. Oh my gosh, Hillary, I'm so sorry. I know you're not watching this, but I'm sorry I'm totally butchering the channel theme. Anyways, I did it for fall and I know they do it again in Christmas. Basically, it's a $5 challenge. You go to Goodwill, you find something for $5 within like the theme. So they'll do a Christmas one again. I'm thinking about using this one for Christmas. So you might see this again. That was like long-winded just to tell you, you might see this one again it's just a little vintage Santa how cute is he so Weston my oldest really loved him when we saw him and I told him he could probably put him in his room and he was a $2.99 oh and I don't think I told you all of these vinyls they were $1.49 each how much were these baskets I don't remember how much these were but total I ended up spending $35 on everything that you're seeing here that's what my ending balance was okay my last two things are really big give me a second to collect them are you ready for this one dun da 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 Okay, yeah, this thing is massive. It's obviously a picture of a deer, you know. Obviously, you can see that. It kind of has this really cool texture that looks like it was sketched, but it's a remake. It's not like um, an original sketching or anything like that. But it still has the glass intact. The frame is really, really nice. And guess where I'm going to put this? Yes, in my son's room, of course. So this was only $5.99. I got the picture and this awesome frame for six bucks. That's a really good deal, I think. So I'll be putting that in his gallery wall. And then this next one is ginormous. Oh. Here it is. Are you thinking like, what the what? What is she gonna do with that? I know, right? It's different. So this was, I think this was $5.99 also, let me see. Yeah, so this is $5.99 as well. I saw this, I immediately stopped and grabbed it. Uh, this, pretty, looks like it was the lid of a bench or something. One of my other tips I was trying to share with you guys when we were in there, again, the boys were crazy, I didn't get to like do it like I wanted to, was to think outside of the box. I think that was like tip number two. So I think, like I said, this was a lid to a bench, but what I really love about it is the texture and this cool gray color. It's a little worn. I don't know if it's showing up on the camera. And the size. Things like this are really easy to find a place to put. It's narrow, but it's big. So it doesn't take up a ton, a ton of space, but it makes a big statement. So I could put this on my patio. This would go really well in my office that I'm redoing. Sorry about the airplane. Okay, I think it's almost gone. Yeah. Okay, anyways, I can put this in my office that we're redoing. We're also working on our master bedroom. This is really neutral, and I know I have a wall space for it several places, so I'll find a good home for it. Um, and I just like that it's different. I like that it's different and not something you would typically find hanging on somebody's wall. And like I said, that was $5.99, and that is it. So I got a ton of vinyls, some cool Christmas vintage stuff, all those baskets, some art week, art week, some art week, some artwork, and I only spent $35. Yay! Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day. And if you don't know, um, I'm not sure when I'm going to get this up, but if I haven't announced it yet, we are participating in a blog challenge over on our family blog. It's hangingwiththehueys.com. I will list that right here and also below in all of the info. Basically, I'm blogging every day, Monday through Friday. I'm taking Saturday and Sunday off for the month of November. So if you like that kind of stuff, there will be random stuff on there, motherhood stuff, stuff about my family, stuff about me, health and fitness, recipes. Y'all, it's a mixed bag over there, but we have a lot of fun. I'd love to have you come over and join us. If you see vlogs on here for the month of November, I'm probably intermingling them into a blog post somehow. So if you see a vlog, Blog pop up you might want to hop it over to the blog and see how I'm using it so um, that will be going on and I will probably have a fun announcement for December I'm still thinking on it if I want to do it or not before I make it official but I'm like 95% sure I'm gonna do this so stay tuned for that announcement and I will see you soon all of my social media stuff is below I will talk to you guys later bye are you Superman yeah, yeah. hi kids